today we've got a two hour recovery ride zone one zone two and be really careful not to push the power too high so as to keep my oh the traffic if you don't mind I don't have a power meter so just trying to stay consistent on the pedals and watch the heart rate as much as I can it's as close as I can get <clears throat> I have an indoor trainer and so pretty confident with my heart rate versus power indoors and hoping that that will be good enough outdoors so we're going to ride down hopefully Horseshoe Bend Road it got washed out about a year ago. I'm just not sure whether they've um, rebuilt it because then there was another flood a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, we'll have a we'll have a crack. Otherwise, we'll just do a Yui head out onto the highway. But I went past it the other night and um, rode out on the Surf Coast Highway and thought there were cars coming through. So we'll have a crack at that. And then we'll ride around to, from Torquay to Bowen Heads, and then Bowen Heads and home. This is the bend in Horseshoe Bend Road. I assume there's a bridge there now. Horseshoe Bend's a super popular local bike ride in Geelong. <clears throat> Geelong down to Torquay and then you can head up over to Anglesey. And you've got a shoulder here and this last little bit coming into Torquay. But no shoulder on the most of the rest of that ride. 80 kilometer zone. Cars can get pretty close but for the most part such a popular bike track most times of the day you're going to see another cyclist or a group of cyclists go past Sunday afternoon New Year's Eve a bit quiet but I've had three other guys go past the other way I'm sure I'll get overtaken at some point going so slow so the cars know so you feel pretty safe Taken. Temptation just to tuck in behind, especially in the headwind. But we're just watching that heart rate. Doing what we're doing. One day we'll be fast enough. That day is not today. So this week I started the Polarised base, train road, high volume. <clears throat> Thought it was four rides a week, but at six. So I'm just going to see how I go with that. I have the time, it's just whether I can recover. Um, but my thoughts are I, um, I go to the gym, I've been going to the gym three to four times a week with my teenage boys the last 12 or 18 months and um, so I drop that down I'm going to drop that down to twice a week maybe three and just do a bit of a bro split 
chest and shoulders, arms and back, back and biceps and then do um, a light leg day because of my hip injury. Got some physio work to do there. Not looking to gain any strength, but just to um, just to help with the imbalances I've got. And, and injury there. Quick look behind. Thank you so much. So yeah, six rides a week, two hard ones. And the rest of them, I don't want to say are easy, but I can make them easy if I'm feeling overly fatigued. I can drop out of that zone two into a pure recovery ride. Just get my butt on the seat. I actually feel like I really need that at the moment. Decent road, super smooth, nice bike lane. Well done, Surf Coast Shire. Well done. Looking good. Thank you, sir. Good to go. Play the center as well. So this road here, Black Rock Road, <coughs> definitely not the safest road around here for some reason. Driver error probably is that reason. I think we've had at least one fatality, maybe two, on this road. And I can't remember the exact sort of uh, time or reason, but it might be because the sun rises around the corner down here over Brimley. Could be something as innocent as that, and just trailed off the road. But yeah, it's not the most, I don't get the most confidence riding in this section of road. So I've noticed, having been off the bike for so long, three years, part of the bike fitness is I'm still really uncomfortable in the wrists, the hands. Um, uh, my position's not quite back to what it was. I don't know if that's because I've got a stomach in the road or um, problems with my hip. I've still got really good flexibility, always had really good flexibility. Uh, so I have dropped the seat just, just a millimetre or two, just a little bit, because I felt like I was rocking a little bit. So this is only my second ride with the seat down, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, still noticing on, for me, the long rides, long ride for me is two hours at the moment. Just a bit uncomfortable, still shoulders, arms, hands. The legs are okay. So looking forward to that improving. Just all those little muscles that I don't have anymore. 
It's mm, interesting. Just go anyway, mate. That's all right. Just a push bike rider. Hectic. Thanks, mate.